So today I'm setting up the battery monitor. So I'm gonna have both batteries out, uh, the one on the port side, the one on, uh, two on the starboard side, and uh, we'll be uh, working through getting the shunts on and getting all the wiring in the right place, getting power to the whole thing. And actually while I'm there, I'm gonna do power to the engine monitor as well. Um, United game means like early start of the boat, so we're going in. Pray has a prime position inside the yacht club. So my uh, third battery, the House 2 battery, is on port side. So I'm running the cable through above the fuel tank and that'll give me the option to, or the ability to connect to the fuel tank sender as well, which is what the plan is. So I just run this little, this little messenger line through to the other side. So I can, uh, I can then uh, pull all the cable through and it goes right to the other side where, uh, where the, the other batteries are. Okay, so that's all tight. It's pretty rigid, it's very rigid. These fuses for the charger. So they'll have to come in here, maybe a bit further in here. Yeah, I can loosen this slightly and bring it, bring it this way. This is just a messenger line, it's just getting in the way. Okay, so that'll be fine. That'll be fine there like that. Hopefully you're still seeing this. 
but that's it on there and then I just got to connect into these two. The way I've wired it, the uh, red one goes upstream. So the red one is the one closest to the battery, battery terminal. So that's that one. I've just made sure that on the other end, they are not touching anything, not earth in any way. They're covered. Actually, just need plugging in because they're already crimped. There you go, and that's that. So I've got the last of the uh, shunts in, um, and this is typical, right? So put it on the um, positive side, cross to where the battery cables are, uh, and uh, connect it up like that. Then your power, your lines, uh, the sensor lines go um, back, and I've just fed them through that hole over here, and then back to to the sensor here, which I've just I just cleaned the top of this, uh, cleaned the top of this surface here. Uh, and then I've put velcro on so I'm just gonna put it on with velcro for now I'm gonna eventually cable tie it to this uh, to the, the strap um, But basically I want it here. Uh, it's gonna be underneath the the um, This panel that goes over the top um, So it'll be protected And it just be sat there like that So people are asking where I'm going to tie in the power. Well, I'll show you. So this is the the helm, the center console uh, of the boat. The steering is there. Uh, there's usually a trash can goes here, storage or whatever. And uh, down there, right in the corner. Well, firstly, you can see the Mayana and uh, a USB hub, but below it. There is a, there's a fuse box below, below all that crap. It's right down there. Uh, you can just see it there. Uh, so I tied it into there. It's just a pain to get to. So that's the final installation. So I gotta just tidy up these wires a little bit. And then, uh, then I should be all set. Um, the, the cover's going to go on here anyway, so you won't be able to see any of it. Um, but uh, as you can see, you see the grommet right here. Uh, there is um, something missing from there, and that'll be the the black water sen sensor. And this is the black water tank, so it's really close. So I'm just going to run it down the side over there. But I haven't got the stuff to do it today, so I'm, uh, I'll do it. I'll come do that another day. So I've just connected the battery monitor for the first time and uh, I went to the hotspot and then I connected it to the Wi-Fi on the boat uh, and then now I'm looking at the access request here um, so I'm just going to approve the access request here with uh, putting never in, in the um, timeout here and then press approve and then if we go back to dashboard 
we should see another a second WS so you should have C2 one is the battery monitor and the other one is the engine monitor all right so just set up a page on kip you can see it here on the screen um, I basically started with the start um, battery in the top left hand corner then house one bottom right uh, left hand corner and then house two in the bottom right hand corner and then the, the temperatures which are not as important to me really uh, and because you might be going to this pay, page while you're um, on autopilot or something uh, speed over ground and course over ground so you can just keep an eye on those as you uh, go so that's that's it um, as you can see here I'm using historical data um, I'm using some averaging uh, uh, and basically what's happening now is we're charging so you can see they're going negative um, and then back up into the positive there is an offset which I need to evaluate and uh, and take out the the offset has changed um, because the the value of the shunts has changed um, so um, where before it was about 0.8 I think now it's a little more than that I think um, but I need to evaluate it with all the things that take voltage turned off. All right, so I'm at the helm screen right now, and uh, I'm just gonna scroll through some of the screens we've added. So this is the normal screen. This is what I normally look at when I'm sailing with open CPN to the left and KIP to the right. And then the next screen over gives you a bunch of temperatures like this. So temperature inside and cockpit temperature it's freezing out here today at 42 degrees F uh, and then um, exhaust manifold and things like that oil temperature next screen is my race screen tells you to steer port or starboard uh, tells you how fast you're going and gives you a bearing to the web waypoint that you can follow um, and then the next screen uh, this one is my engine screen so it's got the oil pressure and the rpm it also tells you the bilge status alternate temperature coolant temperature things like that things you need to know when you're running the engine as well as the gps course and the speed over ground and then the next screen is my batteries so three batteries uh so you've got the status uh the meter the voltage um and uh, what current is being pulled as an average average it's looking you know right now we say the, the start battery right now is pulling about 1.7 amps uh, so things like that uh, and then again speed over ground and course over ground in case you're still you know sailing at this point so i've got the three battery monitors installed i don't have the black water tank set up yet um, that will take a little bit longer I've got about 10 days before I go into the water and I'm not sure whether I'll get it done before then um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll like and subscribe and put a comment and, uh, and I'll respond to you. Thanks.